Welcome to the Bantu. Every year, those of us of the Bantu who are chosen, we hold an ancestral function. In that ancestral function, we get cleansed. Some other ancestors declare themselves on their progenies. We eat, we drink, and we are merry. Last year, I went to South Africa. The year before that, I went to Zimbabwe. And the year before that, I went to Zimbabwe. This year, my ancestors and I decided that I was now old enough, experienced enough to hold my own ancestral branch in the hope that my flock, those of you who watch me and those of you who follow me on social media and those of you who use my services will be able to come and will be able to help you with your ancestors and they may sit well on their chosen progeny and even talk. And so Houston was born ancestral branch in Houston. I already said in a previous video, I made it a branch because I don't like waking up late and breakfast is my favorite meal. And this is what is going to happen at the Houston branch. This is orientation 101. So that none of you are shocked. I wish this was TikTok. I could put a, you know, a song on it, you know, but so that none of you are shocked or amazed. This isn't just an ordinary, I'm going to a metaphysical function and oh well okay this is hardcore bantu style metaphysicality i have modernized it as much as i can i'm following the legal rules and regulations i cannot take you all to the river which is what i would have loved to do and cleansed you at the river because unlike south africa you don't have rivers especially for that whereas in south africa governments have put rivers and said these rivers right here are for the people's cleansing said for the people you know for the people to do what they need to do i cannot do that but i can still cleanse you and i will cleanse you and i am going to cleanse you each and every one of you who is walking through that door, you shall be cleansed by me. Mm -hmm. With water, don't worry, no fire. You don't have to jump over any fire. You don't have to do any of that jazz. I am going to stick to the old rules, old principles, and the way we work as the cast are sitting here, and it's going to be water. I am going to cleanse you. I am going to chant in English so that you can hear what I am saying, and I am going to cleanse you, and I am going to remove your dark energies because as you walk into the room where we are going to celebrate your ancestors and mine, all dark energies must remain outside the door. And so there will be metaphysical protection. There will be metaphysical protection in that room. I am going to chant on it and I am going to make sure I am going to do what I need to do as a witch doctor to make sure that only light energies cross the threshold and the dark energies stay where they are. And then on you, as you walk in, I am going to cleanse you individually. Have no fear. By the time you leave that place, you shall be clean. Or my name ain't Isabel, which it isn't, but it's my grandmother's name. <laughs> okay, I shall cleanse you myself. And then we are going to invoke all our ancestors and not just mine. And hopefully by the end of the day at 5 p.m., some of you would have connected with your ancestors on a permanent level and you can hear them the way I hear mine. Warning, they can be very irritating. You may not want to hear them the way I hear them. Another warning, you may be fighting for supremacy on this earth with your very own ancestors and you may be stunned. But it will take away a lot of uncertainty and your knowledge will be coming from authenticity. It will be coming from the thousands of years of knowledge that your ancestors harvested generation after generation and after a generation and you are holding it in your hands. Okay, okay, okay. So you're not just coming to eat and you're just coming to party and I have completely refused because I have event organizers and I have completely refused that there be a structure that a white people structure with the white people timetable. I have refused that. We are going to go back in time, people. I'm going to, if you can't come to Africa, Africa has come to you. If you can't come to the Bantu, the Bantu have come to you. Okay, this, this, 
ancestral branch is going to be run along African lines, okay? We will be eating and doing rituals, okay, and cleansing all at the same time. And we will be dancing. Yes, I expect you all to dance with me in the circle of protection. We're going to create a circle of protection and we're going to stomp and stomp and stomp. So bring flat shoes, okay? You've been warned. This isn't a place for you to be bringing your high heels. Don't bring your best, but don't bring your worst too because we want to look good. We want to look good. When we stand in front of God, we want to look good because he's the greatest king of all, right? We want to look really great. Makeup or no makeup, your choice. I will not have any makeup because I will be hands deep in my witch doctoring. This is what we do as witch doctors of of Bantu territories. We travel cleansing people, chanting on them, fighting dark energies by ourselves because my hands right here are the most powerful thing there ever was by myself. I shall be touching your heads. Some of you, I am going to be dipping in water whether you like it or not. So make sure you have a protective hairstyle because you are there to work. You are there to bring out your metaphysicality. You are there to claim your key. You are there to claim your key to the metaphysical. I am not being political. When I say this, black women have the most power in the metaphysical world. God gave it to us as much as the world does not want to admit it. And that's why we have limitless amounts of compassion and love despite what we go through. And we go through so much. And we're going to leave those tears on the floor for our ancestors to dissect. We're going to leave those tears on the floor. There will be no podiums. I shall be sitting on the floor facing all you all. I may have to eat while I'm sitting on the floor, but that is my job. There will be no podium. So don't come expecting something Western. But girls and boys, because boys are allowed to come too. Okay. We will be in the veil. Okay, we will be in the veil. So come prepared to work. Come prepared to connect with your ancestors. Come prepared to strengthen the bonds between you and your ancestors. There are so many things that I couldn't do. Of course, I cannot kill a goat. And of course, I cannot kill a cow. I cannot do that because this is the Western world. But that's okay. My ancestors, my water ancestors who are running this, have compensated with other rituals. I will not be talking and lecturing like I'm doing to you now except explaining what I'm doing. Because I will be showing you lots of rituals physically because I'll be doing them and some of you will be doing them with me. Some of you are going to be my assistants. So be prepared for that. Some of you are going to be my assistants. And like I said, I will repeat. So be prepared for that, right? Because uh, 50 people is quite a lot of people and I only have 50 tickets available because I, I think I can only work with 50 people for all those several hours. So you're going to be eating when, it, when you feel like it because there'll be a banquet over there. It'll be nice and hot. There will be constant music because we need music, okay? And there will be constant dancing even if I'm the only person dancing on the floor because without dancing, we cannot wake up the dead. Without being the black that we are, we cannot wake up the dead. So we're going to be black. We're going to be highly emotional. In the ways that they don't like to see us be emotional, we're going to be highly emotional. We're going to be strong because we're black women and we hold the biggest keys to the veil. And we are going to work as one voice, one voice, one voice, okay, to open that veil wide so that more of you can step in there. The more of us who step in there and the more of us who fight these wars, the safer the world will be for you, me, our children, and our next progeny. Now, people may think this is a fad, and many people think this is a fad, and it will go away. But in my books, I stated it, and I will state it out loud and clear today. Today in the West, 
you do not have institutions like we do in Bantu territories. Only Bantu territories have institutions. Only Bantu territories have classes for which doctoring. The other terri the others haven't quite caught up with us yet they may they may not we don't know but in the future this right here that we are creating we are laying a foundation for in the future we will become an institution in the future we will become an arm of the government i'll be long dead thank god but i'm just doing my bits in raising the future leaders of this institution and to you you the one i'm talking to you're the leader the future leader of this institution that we are creating and we're just starting small with everything that goes big start small right i hope that after we are done with our ancestors branch everything you have learned experienced seen you will share you will talk about it or and even do it yourself because i'm not competitive like that you will you can also do it yourself your own branch because we are branching out we are rising we gotta rise i personally am very tired of being trodden by the world absolutely every race has stomped me and i am tired of it i may not have power in the physical but i surely have power in the metaphysical and the metaphysical changes what happens in the physical and the more of us who are crying for that change in the metaphysical, the more the change will happen on the ground. So this is like a political campaign over here in the West. And I am bringing authentic rituals, rites, and regulations in order to help your ancestors walk with you. The Bantu do not worship ancestors. We don't worship them. They are not our gods. We don't give them food. The food is for us. The music is to raise our vibrations. Leave our sorrows on the floor. As we raise our vibrations, our connection to the veil and our connection to our ancestors becomes clear. Clearer. We can hear them. We can feel them. We can talk to them and vice versa. We are bringing a conglomerate of ancestors from West Africa to North to East to South to Central. We are bringing them all together. And I can guarantee you that has never been done. I am the first Makulu, the first Makulu to do that, to bring all the ancestors. Who wants good for us in the same room and to burst that veil open so that more of you can stand in your power. I, I often hear, Isabel, I want to be like you. Isabel, I want to be like you. And I say, no, 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 be better. You have the same power, the same strength, the same strain. Be better. Don't be like me. Be you. Be better. Be stronger than I could ever be. So I will be doing orientation 101 because we need to cleanse those ancestors. We need to cleanse those naughty ones who do nothing but flirt while we suffer. We need to put them to work, but we need to cleanse them too. You need to cleanse your own ancestors before you walk into that room. I'm going to cleanse you. Oh yes, I'm going to cleanse you. Okay, but you will need to cleanse your ancestors before you walk into that room. So what I'm going to do is a video. I'm going to do a video of ancestral cleansing and everybody who buys the tickets will get an email. I'm trying to keep these things private because the, because the dark will take what we do, invert it and come after us. Mm -mm. Okay, so if you are dark, Trust and believe me, do not come. Because you know what? I am going to bind your ass right by the door. Yes, I am. Thank you, God. Okay. Right by the door. Okay. There will be grenades for those who have bad intentions. Just like there are grenades in Africa for those who have bad intentions. But I know, I know that those of you who are going to rise to this call, 
And those of you who are gonna come, I know you are of the light. I know it. Because we're the only ones who rise to this call. We are the only ones who are brave enough. And we are the only ones who are in that much despair because the dark has overwhelmed us. So the tickets are $200. The event is on Eventbrite and in the description link below, right? Um, I'm hoping a lot of you will come because trust and believe this, we need the power. I was laughing at some white witches who went and they did some kind of little protest somewhere and I, I, I laughed my heart out and I said, okay, there were how many, 300 or so? And they were doing a protest, I think, to remove uh, Trump. And it didn't even register in the metaphysical. It didn't even register. But had 300 black females gone out there it would have registered within 24 hours that yes, a ritual was done, a powerful ritual. It's time for us to come together. Oh my God, I'm so tired of the dark always coming together and coming after us. It's also time for us, those of us who are there for the people to come together in this part of the world. In my part of the world, we do it on a regular basis, but not in this part of the world. I am hoping this will start a movement. I am hoping we'll be able to do more more of these branches and will keep getting stronger and stronger and brighter and brighter and better okay i am really hoping that so please come please come i'm not beyond begging okay the two hundred dollars that you are paying is going into your food most of the money is coming out of my pockets and I'm paying for most of it but it's going into your food and you know the the, the function itself you know what are ancestors they need something really really nice they, they don't play ghetto trash. They want, you know, status. They want something really nice. And it's just not my water ancestors. It's your water ancestors as well. They want something really nice. So, of course, you know, we are looking for something really nice. Okay. And we, uh, we, we've got a caterer. We've got a, we've got a DJ. And we are looking and I believe we're going to have some authentic paintings on the wall done by a chosen just for this occasion. And we are, yeah, almost everybody who's working on this is spiritual because this is a spiritual function. It's a first of its kind. I don't care what all the others have produced out there, but this is what my ancestors live for. Their mandate is to begin this movement. Okay, so, you know, I hope you join me July 9, Houston, Texas. Tickets in the description box. I hope you all got your tickets, airline tickets, Greyhound. Use whatever you got to get there. Come and be with your own kind. For, you know, those of us who are psychic, we are our own race. We are our own breed. And we have our own zip code. So come and be with your own kind. And come and revel with your own kind. And come and discover yourself. Come and discover your power. Come and discover what you can do, how you can do it, when, where, how, and why. Because in knowing yourself, is the greatest power. Ancestral branch, Houston, July 9. Some tickets have already been bought, so you know, I am just gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing. If I sell more tickets than I'm thinking, I will just expand it a little bit because I am hoping to have assistance, okay? I'm hoping to have metaphysical assistance among you and then, you know, we're going to get it going. There'll be lots of water, obviously, because water is life, water is wealth, water is beauty, and water guards the gates of heaven. Water guards the gates of heaven, and of course, our water ancestors are the soldiers of heaven itself. So, you know, we want, there'll be lots of water, black and white, dressed in black and white, dressed in black and white, dressed in black and white. Alrighty? I will see you July 9. I'm excited. I'm really excited. 
so excited that even if tickets had not been bought i was gonna go through with it but this is me bringing africa to her stolen children to her lost children this is me keeping the promise i made to you so many years ago i will be your ambassador i said and this is me being your ambassador this is me keeping my word and this is me hoping that from all this will rise a new leader and another leader and another leader and hopefully i can be proud to say they stood on my shoulders to get there okay so watch out for the video that's gonna come on how you can cleanse your ancestors watch out for that video because you're all gonna have to do that before you come in you're gonna cleanse and strengthen your ancestors so everybody who buys the tickets starting next week i will send out the video how of how to um cleanse and strengthen your ancestors for the for the good day because dark energies also latch on to your ancestors okay and they need and those energies need to be cleaned away from them all righty see you july 9 i'm so excited oh my god i can't believe i'm doing this i cannot believe i'm doing this but doing it i am Mwah.